Hey guys, it's Chris from Night Thursday, and I wanted to come on here and do a YouTube video. I haven't done a YouTube video in a while. I don't even know if there's a knife community on YouTube anymore, to be honest. I don't really even watch YouTube videos, to be completely honest. So, I guess I kind of just want this video to be a, a way to get this information out to people who may want it. Um, probably those of you who entered the... Uh, Cut, Gut, and Carve showdown this year. Um, this past month in October, we did the third annual Cut, Gut, and Carve showdown. And um, I know most of the knife community that I interact with on a regular basis, we're all on Instagram. So over on Instagram, um, I run the Knives account. And I also run the Knife Thursday account and it just to kind of depends on if it's night Thursday or not where I'm at and what I'm doing so today I'm running the night Thursday account so with that said that's really um, where I've been if you are wondering why I have not made a YouTube video in a while or you may also be on Instagram and you may know full well why I have not been making YouTube videos they just take a long time to do and uh, it's just I can get much more done on Instagram but one of the restraints on there is the 15 second videos so if I want to do a drawing it's kinda of hard to do that so I have a drawing to do today and the drawing is for the um, one of the contests that was part of the cut cut and carve showdown um, for the cut cut and carve showdown this year we did three different contests if you click on contest up here, it'll take you to this page. I'm, I'm going to build this out with all the contests we've done. But for now, it's just got the cut, cut, and carve info. So right now, two-thirds of the cut, cut, and carve is done. And they close on Halloween. Um, we do have the knives and fall photography contest that's still going. And that's going to go th through the 27th. And I'm using the photos that people send in that um, are up to par. Those are going to be used as a, in a collection of um, fall themed uh, knives and fall themed um, downloadable free free downloadable wallpapers for your desktop and uh, mobile devices so I wanted to extend that contest out a little bit farther so people had time to get those in because it's a little bit more of a specialized thing so if you follow through here to the the cut gut and carve info you will see all the prizes which I'll show you here in a minute I've got them here with me from all the awesome sponsors and also you'll th see the three contests um, the first one was the uh, knife o lantern carving contest which was ended on October 31st midnight on Halloween and that's basically a pumpkin carving contest with a knife in the photo that's all we that's all we asked for and uh, you can see some of those over here that I may have reposted on our Instagram account um, then we have the Knives and Fall Contest, which I just told you about. And this video is about the Wicked Knife Design Contest. So if I click through here, the, you'll see the Wicked Knife Design Contest ended also on Halloween night. And uh, basically, this, this is all we wanted. Just uh, a Wicked Knife Design. Your, your definition of Wicked may, may vary, so we've left that up to your imagination. And um, you know, feel free to include an actual knife in the photo, although you didn't have to. And all I asked for was a uh, brief description. So I did get a lot of entries for this, surprisingly, even though I was asking a lot of people just to draw knives and sit down and design a knife. That's kind of a big task for most people. So I got a lot of entries, and um, some of them I had to uh, I had to turn down or I guess just throw in the trash, so to speak. Um, this one, for instance, um, let me just restore it here so it can show you, just to give you an um, example. So I did get a lot of these. Unfortunately, people don't like to read these days, and we get a lot of stuff like this. Um, gutting, gutting Blade. That's yeah, pretty cool. And uh, it is definitely a wicked knife, and if there would have been a good description explaining this blade shape... Um, or maybe talk about the steel or how he came to this this design or just a little bit of a backstory or something some sort of a description I would have gone through here 
and added it to the correct categories and hit publish. Instead, he chose to go with the description of, you know you want it. And uh, that's, that's pretty much um, a reflection of a lot of the ones that I got that were turned down. The other reason I would may have sent them to the trash or not accepted these contest entries is because while design and art is uh, subjective and objective or whatever the word is, basically it's up to everybody's opinion and discretion as to what what is good, right? So I just tried to I tried to set the bar. I, I tried to make sure that that um, they at least had a good description and obviously thought out their entry, even though you know you had a you had a pretty big um, spread here as far as the skill set and the want to say maybe the level of artistic talent. So not to single anybody out here, but I will say let's just you know I, I consider myself a creative guy. So you know I have a, let me see here. So this one here. So while this isn't bad, it is exactly what we asked for. It's a design, a knife design. He drew it and um, you know, it's there, this isn't like this isn't round for instance. Um, you know, but you weren't being judged on this on your artistic ability. It was basically the ability to design a knife that you could define as wicked, a wicked knife and give a good description on that knife and you know, we can go from there. And uh, let me see here. Yep. Okay. So, you know, like this post, um, you know, was accepted. But anything, I had some things that were just like your basic knife drawing. It was a tanto, and there really wasn't anything special about it, and the description was lacking. Um, stuff like that was was rejected for the most part. So. I did outline all that in the rules, and I, I set these contests up because we tend to, when we do these knife design contests, we have a lot of fun with it. We get some people who are really creative, and then we get some people who uh, may not be able to draw very well, but they still do some good descriptions and some really cool stories. And so basically what we have here, if you click on all, the, all concepts, and you scroll down to the bottom, and you click back to... Um, page two let me see if this thing will, will reload here okay from time to time yep so this should be the page I don't know why it's not taking me back to the beginning here let's see Come on now, brah. Work. Da, 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 da. Okay. So now it's now it's changing. I guess it just was loading. I was being impatient. But if you go back here you'll see loads of different types of um design. So yes, yeah, I'm that look like they're kind of computer generated but he actually said he drew these and then scanned them and cleaned them up in the computer but then you have um, some that are clearly computer generated and uh, you know we did say in the in the rules to use whatever medium you were comfortable with but not only that but he gave some really good specs here so blade steel the length and everything so a lot of thought went into these posts and that's why that's why they um, they were accepted. It's not because they were, um, con you know, considered better than others, in a sense. But we did have a lot of people say, "Though these guys definitely deserve to win," because look at that. You know, yeah, that's pretty awesome looking. That's an awesome drawing, right? Really cool design and really well executed uh, visual that he submitted to the site. Um, he deserves to win, but he, in my opinion, doesn't deserve to win any more than this guy deserves to win. So. Just because this guy drew it with a pencil, and um, you know he still gave a good description and and, it, and it, some good thought went into this, he deserves to win just as much. So what I did decide to do was, I out outlined this in the rules in the beginning, was basically, if you were accepted, um, if you were among those who were accepted into the drawing, uh, accepted into the 
to be published, then you're in the drawing. So we ended up with 30 posts in all. And uh, so let me see here. Let me click and see if I can get into this real quick. I use WordPress. So you guys are going to see the back end here. Um, so let me show you what I'm working with here. So dig deep into the rabbit hole we go. So the Wicked Knife Designs, if I click on that and filter only out the Wicked Knife Designs, you see that we end up with 30 entries. Don't know if you can see that down here, but there's 30 entries that made it in. And that was out of probably 70 or so that that were that were submitted. So 70 or you know it was a lot. I just, I know that I threw a lot of them in the trash, but um, so these all of these in my opinion deserve to win something. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw from these guys, and I've got them all written out here. And right there, and they all have a number allocated to them. And they're basically the first one that came in is down here. And the last one that was accepted is up here. So this is 30 and this is 1. I'm going to show you the, the prizes here real quick. But let me just give you a real quick tour of the, of the site. Like a 30 second tour. So here's the home page. This stuff will change periodically depending on what's going on with the site. Up here normally you can find the podcast and the featured stuff. Since we're doing a design contest that's here for now. Got sponsors, sponsors. Here's the blog. These are all featured articles. If you click through to this Wieners and Steel post, you'll find that there's a Wieners and Steel category. If you come up here to the top, you'll find some cool stuff that you can dig deep into the site. You go to the archives here. You can subscribe. I don't take advantage of that. I don't abuse it. It's a newsletter. I try to only send stuff out every couple weeks. Um, there's all the podcast episodes. I'll show you that. All the all the podcast episodes are here. Try to get those out regularly, but I've been slacking. The last one I did was, um, the last one I did was, I don't know, say a month ago, October 9th. So yeah, it's time for another one. You can play it here. You can download it. I try to give a little bit of description and some show notes, some all sorts of cool stuff. So. Also, you can click on Get Knives right here or here, and that takes you to the Trust the Dealers page. These are all dealers that I have a good relationship with or friends of mine have bought from and have suggested I I, um, you know, add them to this list. And uh, for the most part, they're all sponsors at this point. So you got another sponsor down here. This is Quartermaster and Blade HQ. These are all recent Knife Thursday posts from at, um, at Knife Thursday on Instagram. Most of them are... Yeah, the majority of these are reposts. I just find other people who make the Knife Thursday logos, and if they do do it right, then I repost it. And uh, some of the stuff was all Halloween, and we're doing a shirt, so I asked some for some feedback here. And these are all on the Instagram account, so if you look through, you can see all that. Then I have the Knife Thursday Ambassadors. These are all close friends that I have um, met through the site and on Instagram. And these are guys I talk to on a regular basis, and you'll see me mention their names. And you can just come here and click through and find all their their YouTube um, channels or their Instagram uh, pages and uh, Twitter or whatnot, whatever they may have. You can find all their stuff. You can find all their entries on all their Night Thursday posts if they uh, if they're active on here. This is a um, good friend, John, eight seventy five FPS, re really creative guy. For that. That was before the cut and car started. He just wanted to to uh, get the ball rolling. Lots of good good stories from him on um, his son's health and just his knife hobby. And if you have a child with diabetes, you can come through here and you may appreciate this stuff. And if you have a kid, period, um, if you have children at all, it's a good read. And John's a really good guy. So the, check out these sponsors too. We've got Quartermaster, Demco Knives, Chavez USA. And uh, key bar. Anyway, so you guys probably want to do the drawing and see who won these knives. So I'm going to do random.org. Okay, I'm going to stick it in here for 1 to 30. And I'm going to 
click generate and that's going to give me 12 generate I got four knives to give away for this contest 22 generate 13 generate 2 and those are the winners 12 22 and 13 okay so what I do now is I will come around here and I'll show you okay yes so I'm a PC guy okay so here we go these are all the ones that uh, the top 30 that made it in and these are the numbers that I just drew and I just basically wrote down the the gist of the titles here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here we've got number two okay number two is like how's he pronounce this like well like wax wicked knife I don't know how to pronounce that so I'm going to open it here so we can see what it is. Da, 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 da. Yes. This is a knife that he has based off of a Chavez knife, Jay Kobach, and Randy Duchette. Duchette, Duchette. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, basically gives a little bit of a description there so congratulations brah you win a uh, one of these knives I'm gonna show you in a second then we got number three here so we've got two no 13 22 12 13 and 12 that's pretty cool so 12 a sword inspired clip point so come over here we've got a a sword in, inspired clip point oh. showing you guys the the admin version of it but uh you get the idea there it is pretty cool I, I think I referenced this one earlier check out his description that is Nathan C. Nathan C. Okay. And then we have number 13, Recurve Tanto Flipper. Oh, yeah, Recurve Tanto Flipper. So, Recurve Tanto Flipper. You guys loving the way I'm doing this? Just so, so lackluster, huh? Just I don't, don't do the YouTube videos much, guys. Sorry. Recurve Tanto Flipper. Really cool, another good description. And uh, this is Poly Lexus. Congratulations to you, my friend. And then we have number 22. Oh, this is my favorite one. If I would have picked a winner, this would have been the this would have been the guy. So uh, smart bad guy. That's cool. Smart bad guy. So smart bad guy. You need to check out this guy's posts. Um, that he's submitted for the contest. They're really cool. And the descriptions are very cool. This is a guy I'd like to know. He's a dad and uh, basically based these designs off of his son's sketches. And uh, he said these were all hand-drawn and then he scanned them in and edited them in, in the computer. And you can see this is a, the folded version. This is showing that it would how it would lay in there. The see-through version this this uh, this makes me if this doesn't make you want to design a knife then you're just not into designing knives so this is a really cool post congratulations Smith Smithsworth very cool one of my favorites smart bad guy concept knife very cool so those are three winners or your four winners these guys smart bad guy recurve tanto flipper sword inspired Clip point and number two leg wex wicked I don't know how to pronounce it um, that's the guy's name though let's just find that one again 
just so we know, so he knows when he watches this. So that was this guy here, and I'll put it, there we go, that's his name, Legwix, Legwix 180, I'm not sure, alright, so what do they win, what did they win, and how do they collect their knives that they won, so what I'm doing here is, basically, we have a bunch of sponsors, and they sent me a bunch of knives, and I broke them up in the contest as to where I thought they may fit. So, this is a Kershaw Leak from Knife Country USA, brand new knife, and they win this knife, right? They can win this knife. They could also win this Spyderco Clip-It tool, and these are brand new. These are from um, GP Knives, very cool. These have the bottle openers. They could also win a key bar. Halloween style key bar. Look at that. Oh, Halloween and Knife Thursday. Anodized key bars. This is like if you guys don't know what a key bar is, this is a this is a key bar. This is my key bar. My knife Thursday key bar. It's got a pocket clip on it. Carbon fiber. It's got all my keys in it. Very easy to, and you can just hang this in the door or whatever. I've also got a, uh, I've got a knife in there too. This is a uh, SOG little knife. I use that a lot for mail when I'm in the car. So, and then it has a little fob loop de doop. These are in, infinitely customizable and, uh, they're all made by my friend Mike over at keybar.us and uh, he sent me a bunch to give away for this contest so that's what you guys you guys can get one of these here and then the fourth prize for the Wicked Knife Design is this customized um, Quartermaster QTR3 with uh, I asked for a Halloween style Halloween themed Quartermaster knife and this is what I got so I think this is Pretty damn cool. I don't think it's you can get any more Halloween theme than that. The QTR3 is a flipper tanto. Very sharp. Flips good. And um, they didn't send me a pocket clip with the knife. I think the guy did the scales and just left the pocket clip off for some reason. But I included the pocket clip. This is off of my QTR3. I just wanted the winner to have a pocket clip. Um, this is a little rough, so you may not even put it in your pockets. But it's pretty cool. And uh, the, I do like the QTR3. They're redesigning this knife as a frame lock and thinner. So I'm anxious to get my hands on one of those. But uh, so who gets what out of these four knives or these four prizes? Basically, you just go to the site, click on the prize claim. If you're on your mobile device, you have to check on the menu. Fill this out real quick and send it to me. And basically, I'm going to take the four of you, and whoever sends me the form first gets first pick. And then whoever gets second gets second pick, third pick. That's the way it's going to go. And that's how I'd pick. Boom. I'd go probably boom, 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 boom. And I'd only, you know, only because I have a key bar. That is, those are the knives they win. Oh, the, the scales were customized by a guy on Instagram. His name is Donnie, but he goes by um, at dnt 3 CKS. So he is the guy responsible for these scales. These Halloween crater cratery scales. Very cool. So that's it guys. Um, unfortunately if you're watching this video you you may have not even known we were giving away these knives or doing this contest. Um, the very first cut cut and car we ever did was all on YouTube and um, it was a pretty big deal. But uh, I don't do the YouTube thing anymore. Maybe I'll get more into it. If you guys like it, like the video. I know it's uh, all over the place. It's pretty, pretty un unprofessional. But you know, it's late. I just wanted to get this out to you guys. And um, also, that's so. These are for the Wicked Knife Design contest. I also have these other knives that I'm giving away for 
let me show you. This is the rest of the knife for the for the uh, cut, cut, and carve. And um, I'll just show you what these are. What these are. Uh, let me see here. So, uh, so we have the um, the knife o' lantern contest, which I'm gonna. I have to go through all the knife o' lantern entries today and try to make sense of all that and and issue a winner for that. Um, the Knife o' Lantern in, uh, contest has some pretty good prizes. It has, how about this Andrew Demko AD10 fixed blade with a sheath. This thing is a f fan favorite for sure. Look at that. So this is a custom handmade knife. And uh, look at the grind on that. If you guys like custom knives and like fixed blades, this is the... I'd say this and um, the three fixed blades I say would be the prize of this this whole contest. They were made by three of my friends and favorite knife makers. So this this uh, this Andrew Demko fixed blade is going to go to somebody that did a uh, knife o' lantern. So that's set aside for that contest. I'll be doing the drawing the winners for that. Um, another prize for the knife o' lantern is the Benchmade. Um, bench made triage. You guys are watching this video right now. If you didn't know this was going on, you're kicking yourselves. But now you know. You know that I'm still doing the giveaways on KnifeThursday.com. Um, head over there, sign up for the sub sub subscription so that way you can, um, it's free. It's just to subscribe to the newsletter. But that way you'll know when these things are happening and, um, I, I get plenty of notice. So this is from Blade HQ and, uh, one of my all time favorite bench maids. I don't have one anymore. I don't know. It's just one of those stupid things you sell when you need the money and then you just regret it. What a great knife. Um, I know they make the auto now, but, um, you know, I always like this one. The manual. You just can't beat it. And, uh, you know, for this knife, I'm not a huge combo f uh, edge fan, but we chose the combo edge for you guys because this knife is very utility, very utilitary, and, uh, the only other thing I, I could have done, if I was to buy this knife, again, I'd get the one with the um, blunt tip on it. But I know as a giveaway knife, a lot of people don't like that. So um, they think it's broken or something. So that's another one of the prizes for the uh, pumpkin carving uh, knife o' lantern contest. One of the other prizes that was a big, a big favorite was the DPX Gear Hest. Yes. Again, you're kicking yourself if you're watching this video and you didn't know this was going on. I'm sorry, guys. I just haven't been on YouTube, but um, I'm here now, and I'll do these videos if this goes up. If it goes up quickly from my phone, then I'll just do the videos regularly. But um, this was a knife that was up for grabs if you would have done a knife or lantern um, before Halloween or ended on Halloween. If you would have made a made an entry on Instagram, you could have had a, a shot at this DPX gear. Hest. This is a uh, exclusive um, orange that went to one of their distributors that you just can't go buy. You just can't go buy this one anywhere. So Lisa sent us this one. It's got a little dirty for me playing with it, but you can clean it up, I think, pretty easily. Um, pretty easy. So these are really cool. I was never a really huge, super huge fan of the Hest until I was able to play with this one for a extended period of time while, while it's been here and uh, I'm going to send this out to a friend so he can check it out and um, and then it's going to go on to the winner of the uh, one of the cut cut and carve um, one of the cut cut and carve uh, knife o' lantern carving entries is going to win this one um, what else do we have for the uh, oh um, another key bar another key bar is going to go to a knife o' lantern carving um, entrance and uh, I've got a couple here to pick from to see who you know which one's gonna go I've got a bunch of them Mike sent me sends me these regularly to give away this is my old one and I, I may go back to this one and give away the carbon fiber one these are great and um, one of the one of the cut good and carve uh, Knife of Lantern Entries is going to get one of these as well. So, there's that. And then this uh, fixed blade from my friend in South Africa. 
the company, the knife company, they're not, it's not the maker's name. B-O-E-K-O-E -E Knives. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've only conversed with this gentleman via email, but he makes these phenomenal fixed blades. They're very unique in shape, and um, this is a really nice skinning knife. And uh, just a, it's a great if you're if you hunt and you just skin animals and and whatnot if that's the thing if that's what you use your knives for this is uh this is definitely one to to want and uh, it's a really great knife the guy's a cool dude too um, if you if you get into his knives you'd be a fan but you can find him on Instagram he's um let me see here so he's on Instagram I'm gonna write down the name here. Man, just search it. Just search this name here. So it's B O E K O E Knives. If you search that on Instagram, B O B O E, that's an E K O E Knives, you will find his Instagram account. And it's not it's not the name of the knife company, it's his name personal. And you but it'll find it'll find him if you do that. Search that. Um also for the for the other stuff I had, uh, let me just show you the other contest. This is a 32 minute video, but I'm almost done here. Um, then for the fall knife photography prizes, which is going to be um, desktop wallpapers. Once you guys get all your submissions in, so for that contest, I also asked Ramon Chavez to make a um, a fixed blade, and he he did. He made me one. So this is a new design. He has no name for it yet. And uh, based on the follower and the artisan, but bigger than the artisan. Look at that. Wow. How does this knife compare to the AD-10? You're asking. I know you're asking. Um, there. Pretty much the same. Same size. So what happened here was Ramon said he would send me a knife. And Andrew said that he would send me a knife. And then Ramon was going to send me an RCK9, which is a smaller fixed blade. And then he saw Andrew Demko sent me an 8010, and he was not going to be outdone with his RCK9, which is a great knife, which I'd love to own, but it's a smaller knife. And Ramon didn't want to be in, living in the shadows, so he... I got cut off there. Hopefully I can add this video. But yeah, these are the two, the two big ones. Also, I have for the um, knives and fall photography contest. I also have this. Uh, this is a uh, Emerson CQC Seven A. It's the spear point. This is from from GP Knives, and this thing is super tight. Whoever gets this is gonna have to break this thing in. And uh, I don't have much experience with Emerson's, but I think they're all like that out of the box. So this thing is pretty sleek. I asked for a Halloween's theme knife, and they gave me all black for that. And I just added this on there. You guys can, this is just me learning how to tie these knots. But whatever, take it off or whatever. I was just in the Halloween mood. And um, this is up for grabs. And um, obviously that contest is running until November 27th. So yeah, you still have a shot at these. If you guys are photographers and uh, you dig photography, also there's one of these in the contest. That's the little clip it tool. And there's also a key bar. So those are the prizes for that. For the, um, yeah, for the knives, knives and fall photography. Oh, also I did a, um, for the Knife Thursday Ambassadors, these guys, my friends. I know you guys. Who may not be, may not know me personally. If I was to give a knife to one of these guys, you may call foul. So, um, just because they're friends of mine, I decided to set aside two knives for them specifically. And um, those knives that I set aside for them was the uh, the Jesse Jaraz Globe Trotter. These are the the ones he normally does for the Sunday sale. This is a really cool knife. You guys, so Jesse Gerard's Globe Trotter. This is a cool knife, and I have these three knives. I wish I would have asked these three makers to make me a, two sets of this. Cause look at that, that makes a really cool set. I'm uh, 
honored to be able to give these away, but man, oh man. I know it sounds so dumb when I just say, man, oh man, but seriously, like, I would love to keep these knives. Just set like that. Three awesome guys, and I did the KT logo with these knives like this. I think it was... I don't remember how I did it. I think it was like this. Boom. Eh, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, on the fly, not too great. Anyway, so yeah, the, uh, the KT logo, that's, oh, here we go. This will help me. See, there's, for reference, that's that design on the shirt is is based on that. So yeah, I had it right. I had it right. I'm just going to get the proportions down. So this would have been a really cool one, cool set to keep. But Jesse sells these for under $100 if you check out his Sunday sales. This is a phenomenal value. You know, you're not going to get these two for a hundred, hundred dollars. These are up there in price, but they're a huge value for what you get. I mean, these are real. These are real badass knives. Look at that. Just for reference, for reference here, let me give you a. Let's do an Emerson. The Emerson and this Chavez. You know. These are serious, hard-use fixed blades, guys. Anyway, this video has gone way longer than I expected. Oh, one more. I also gave away the to the Knife Thursday Ambassadors my... I chose to get give them my um, Nocturnal Knives fixed blade. The Tag 1, the Knife Thursday edition. And uh, basically, this is just a knife I wasn't getting much use out of. And uh, I decided to pass it along to one of my friends. And I asked them to each make Knife Thursday themed, um, Halloween themed Knife Thursday videos. And a couple of them did it. So I did a, I did a, um, uh, basically some average of likes versus their Instagram followers. And that's how I found the winner for this one. But yeah, that's going... It's going to go out to X Machiavelli. He won that one. He won this one here. This guy. X Machiavelli on Instagram. Check him out. And then the... This is X, X Machiavelli. So he's going to get that fixed blade. And then... Terra Fanatic. Terra Fanatic had a really good jack-o'-lantern. And I offered this knife... I said to the guys, I said, if you guys do a jack-o'-lantern, um, I'll award you, award this knife to one of you guys. And uh, that way, you know, I like to be able to give something away to my friends, and I normally they can't enter the contests. So, Terra Fanatic won because this was his, that was his jack-o'-lantern. So, he made that, and then he won this, and they all voted on it, so... Pretty badass. I gotta get this in the mail. Man, I, I enjoy doing these videos. Maybe I'll do these more. I don't know if you guys are enjoying this. I gotta send that send that knife out with this. Terra Fanatic sent me this React Knives District 9 to check out. This thing is pretty badass for the money. And um, it's made in China. I guess it's not like made in China, but it is made in China. It's a um, The knife maker is in China. So pretty good, pretty cool dude. And this knife is phenomenal for what you... I mean, there's tons of uh, tons of reviews out there for this knife, so just look it up. But my opinion is that it's a winner. And that's it, guys. I'll go ahead and call it. Look at this mess of knives. So, yeah, thanks for checking out the video. And um, head over to KnifeThursday.com. Click on the subscribe button. And fill out the uh, the form there.